the middle of December, and pretty much has been pickered almost every night. The back of Jeremy Smith. Here's a chance for Clayson, yeah. scores! Frederick Clayson scores again. That is two goals in his last three games, and he ties it up. Ottawa Senators defenseman Freddie Clayson was drafted in the fifth round and 126th overall in 2011. He played his first NHL games with the Senators in the 2015-16 season, but continued to split his time between Binghamton and Ottawa until this year. He knows it's an honor and a privilege to play in the NHL and feels there's a talent to being able to sit for games at a time and then be at your best when you get the chance to play in the big league and show what you've got to offer. It's kind of like a skill to, to uh, be sitting five games and then just jump in it right away and, and play two games and then get set and like stuff like that. So I think it's a skill to, to play good when you have to play good and, and uh, play smart and, and simple. And uh, I think I did, a, I did pretty well last year. As pretty much everyone would agree, Last year's performance by the Senators, especially through the three rounds of the playoffs, was a very pleasant surprise. It was the team's first year with head coach Guy Boucher and his system, and Freddie's first experience with the NHL playoffs. Clayson knew he needed to prove that he could help the team both during the regular season and postseason, and appreciated the chance to do that. The whole year I was uh, kind of like the seventh defenseman and uh, was in and out the lineup and uh, uh, new coaches, like you said, and uh, uh, you want to Im impress them and uh, and the GM and all that, and uh, you want to prove to them that you can play in the league. And um, I just had to to be ready for the games I played, and uh, and then with the playoffs, I I got some opportunity there, and it went it went good, and uh, it was so cool playing in the playoffs too. So. I'm really happy that I, I got that opportunity. Freddie's not a very regular goal scorer, having scored his first NHL goal last year. But when he does score, he makes it memorable and makes the most of his celebration. Fans and teammates love it, but seeing the smile on his face as he describes the celebration, it looks like number 33 enjoys it too. It actually happened in Sweden. I, uh, I scored a, a big goal against uh, AIK. Uh, rivalry back in Sweden and Stockholm so uh, I scored a big goal there and, uh, and then I did that celebration I just went around a big loop and did that and everyone loved it so I just kept doing it and since then I've been doing it so uh, I'm gonna keep it up. Freddie remembers his first NHL goal pretty clearly. At 24 years of age and with 36 professional games under his belt he felt like he'd been waiting a long time for it to happen but when it finally did it was pretty sweet. I've been waiting for it uh, for a long time, and just for like to play in the NHL, it's, it's a big honor, and it's uh, uh, a lot of kids dream about it, and uh, and then scoring a goal in the NHL is a whole nother story. So I think uh, the feeling I would never feel again, or something like that. I don't know how to describe it, but it's uh, it was it was unbelievable, and. Uh, uh, I was very happy. When a player scores his first goal, the team does a great job commemorating the occasion by creating a shadow box with the puck, stick, and stat sheet for the player. Freddie and his parents were so excited to receive the framed puck in Sweden over the summer, but somehow the package took a wrong turn at an airport in Sweden and got lost for two months somewhere in France. Thanks to social media and a dedicated fan, the package was tracked down and delivered to a very happy mom and dad. I actually saw it before playoffs, and then uh, they were going to ready to ship it right after the season, and they did. And then uh, it, got, uh, it came to Sweden, was in Sweden, uh, the airport there, and uh, uh, I never got a phone call or anything, and they never shipped it to my house, or I didn't hear anything. And then they were going to ship it back to Ottawa, but got lost in France, and uh, took two, two and a half months, and then... We reach out to uh, social media and uh, Peter helped me there and uh, I'm very grateful for that. After the shipping ordeal, Freddie was able to thank his very helpful fan in a public way. It was really good to, to meet him too and uh, really like shake his hand and show him how much it means to me that he wants to help me and uh, my dad and my mom has been like, they've been uh, 
uh, how do you say it? They've been uh, waiting for it the whole summer, and uh, my dad, my dad has been really bummed about it, and I've been bummed about it. But now, when we when we got it back, they were so happy, celebrated with champagne and everything, and uh, so it was great to to meet Peter and uh, and give him something for what he did. Moving around is part of the deal for professional athletes, but Freddie is now lucky enough to call Ottawa his home. Even with the cold winters, he finds a way to cope and has come to really like this little big town. Uh, I like it here, and uh, it's, uh, it's a small town for being a big, a big city, or like you could say it like that, and, uh, but I like it, and uh, uh, right now the weather is, is great, and uh, it's fun like that, but it gets colder, and... Uh, but you got to make it fun yourself, too. So, uh, but I love Ottawa. For Ottawa Senators Overtime, I'm Glenna Gosowich.